God damn it, you punk ass mutant bastard! You think throwing me down this hole is going to defeat me? I'm invincible, unkillable! The red, white, and blue flows through my veins. You may think you've seen the last of me stuck down this hole, but I will climb up there and kick your ass! You will never be rid of me. I will haunt your nightmares. I will fight you until a miracle is free at last. Damn it, kid, are you listening to me? What the hell is that? You son of a bitch, don't you dare ignite that missile! No, no! Damn you, mutant bastard! No! back out. Everything inside that building dead? Good. What's going on with that bomb? Fantastic. That's exactly what the President and I had counted on. If you were an NCR citizen, you'd be up for accommodation. But as it stands... God, I'm sorry, kid. I hate to be the one to do this to you. NCR brass caught wind of what you are. They know what that mutant told you about Project Brazil living in your body. They know what you can do. Some of them wanted to put you in jail for what you've done, to take the fall for me. Others want to cut you open, but I've got an alternative. There's a military base up north called Navarro. It's an ex-enclave holdout, one of the NCR's best research facilities. They need a new special agent like you. I want you to head up there with the launch key to the dagger point system you triggered. You can take this new mission from me, or they put you away someplace dark. It's up to you. I'm sure it will. Now that we're tapped into the president's desk, you can charge whatever you want. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave your companions behind for now. The president didn't ask for them, just you. I'll make sure they're well taken care of and set up at some place nice. You'll be able to pay them a visit every now and again. I wish this had ended different. You deserve a break after all you've been through. But I have a feeling you'll hear that a lot. More never changes, kid. Come on, let's get a move on. The war for California is over. While the embers of Fort Dagger Point still glow, the Raider tribes are conquered by the NCR military. What few super mutants and Raiders remain flee to the far corners of the wasteland. With Eldragon dead and the Bishop family forced into retreat, the pass finally finds itself bathed in the tide of civilization. The local tribes are pacified, the land reclaimed, and the road to the Mojave is finally free for explorers to travel. The NCR soon discovers Hoover Dam and the long lost city of glittering lights. Their next step is to invade the Mojave. They will continue to rapidly expand from Mexico to the far northern frontier, bringing an era of prosperity, however short-lived. As for you, you chose to follow General Silverman's orders only using the missile to destroy the Enclave agents active in Fort Dagger Point. The Enclave soon rises again in the east, using the anti-FEV serum to menace another hero from Vault 101. Your loyalty to the NCR earns you a reputation as a hero, but your ghost-like secrecy quickly hides it from history. You settle your remaining allies in the town of Hopeville. Not long after the town begins to prosper, the Fort Dagger Point key you kept with you all those years triggers the self-destruct on the town's arsenal of buried nuclear weapons. 
Your healing powers keep you alive, but slowly begin to wane after you crawl out of the newly created Divide. General Silverman finds himself disgraced and exiled to the far northern frontier, where he is sentenced to serve out the remainder of his days alone in a desolate mist. You take up a job with Camp Navarro's intelligence agency, ferrying sensitive packages across the wasteland. On one such job, you come into possession of a mysterious poker chip, only to find yourself brought to your knees by the mob you wronged so long ago. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the road? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Looking good so far. <laughs> Most patients don't get out of bed after being shot and then move like they was in perfect control. You're unusual, I'll say that. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out.
Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Thank you.